Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today I want to talk about something that I get asked this. You know, it's the same thing. They always get asked these questions. But, you know, it's an opportunity and gives me ideas to do videos. And thank you so much for all the questions that I get. Uh, changes in the Philippines. I did a video back about, hmm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Last week, week before last. And I talked about changes and I, I missed some topics. And I didn't get to finish it because I went 10 minutes and uh, I always try to keep them not too long, you know, so keep everybody interested in the videos. But today I want to talk about what have I noticed about the Philippines that's actually changed since I actually came here. So today we're going to talk about that a few minutes. Uh, so what has actually changed since I came to the Philippines that, that I've really actually noticed um, and that I, I notice now? It's like, oh, wow, when did they get that? I never knew they had that. When did they get that? So today I want to talk about, uh, they now they're getting fiber internet in the area where they never really had fiber. Uh, I, I remember when we first got here, they had two towers, one for Globe, one PLDT. And both towers were full. They couldn't put no more uh, load on those towers, so they had to build another tower. tower. And then in the process of building a tower, they could not. So I went and bought a pocket Wi-Fi. And I paid 1,500 peso for the pocket Wi-Fi for Globe and uh, tried to get it to work. And it worked a little bit after we made this and did that and put it over here and stuck it in this window. We actually got some service out of it. It really wasn't really that good. It was not that good in town. Now service has gotten a little better. Uh, I think Globe and PLDT both are afraid of competition coming in. And as you know, we're supposed to already have new companies started here in the Philippines, and it's not here yet. So fiber internet is actually coming in area and it's actually gotten pretty good. So uh, that's something that's really nice and I have to say that. So fiber is something that is new. Uh, when I came here, when I first came here, we, you could not buy ice anywhere. Ice was something that was, it was you could buy ice, but it was uh, tap water ice they put in the freezer and it puts in a small thin sleeve about about uh, six or eight inches, ten inches long, and you break it apart, and then they would take that and stick it in the, your Coca Cola uh, or your uh, cooler or things like that, or break it apart and put it in their uh, Coke and things. Uh, and the problem with that is just regular tap water. Uh, now uh, they believe it or not, you can actually buy bags of ice. Uh, there's there's two places in town you can actually buy ice, <clears throat> bag ice, and it's uh, mineral ice. I mean, it's already been treated. It's ice ice that uh, they make from uh, ice machine and they just bag it up now uh, since I came in changes in the Philippines I noticed this is a big grocery store uh, but uh, we didn't have a big grocery store before and the grocery items have increased considerably than what we had I couldn't even find the Pasco sauce I couldn't even find uh, even a can of pork and beans which I don't eat a uh, can of pork and beans and now they have a can of pork and beans we have green peas we have garbanzos where before it was pick or little here and there in the province. Now I'm in living in the province, so the big thing is where I live. I'm only talking about where I live. I don't know, and I'm talking province in Mindanao. I don't know where everybody else what they have in their areas. And you live in Cebu and all those places, they got everything, you know. But here where I'm at, they really don't. <clears throat> now there's many new laws here in the Philippines, and I've covered this a little bit before, but I want to expand on it today. Uh, what's changes in the Philippines since I've been here? Helmet rule, you have to wear a helmet now. Even though they don't here, it's a law. Uh, no more than two passengers on a bike. They enforce that elsewhere. Not here yet. Uh, traffic lights and cameras, we talked about that. Dog leashes and dog collars. Huh. I actually saw uh, two guys this morning uh, when I was in town. After the live stream, one was walking his dog, and the other one was standing outside with his dog on a leash, sitting, he was sitting in a chair. Go figure, right? I never would have thought I'd seen that. Usually dogs now, uh, are dogs still roaming? Yes. Do they have meat on the streets? Yeah, but not a third. A third what they used to have running up and down the streets. And that's interesting, it's very interesting. More restaurants here, a lot more restaurants. And the restaurants are like uh, franchises, such as McDonald's and Subway's and Burger King's and things like that. Uh, I actually seen uh, actually 7-Elevens now also. Uh, you actually, they, we have one in town, actually two uh, close. 
Uh, but they're building a third, a two-story 7-Eleven. Go figure, right? Who would have ever thought 7-Eleven would have a uh, two-story 7-Eleven, but they're actually building one here. Uh, there's uh, one in, by the uh, Morag Mog Hotel, and uh, there's another one uh, right down the road there about five kilometer. And the, the new one he's building, which is the same owner, he's building one up the street. I think he's going to close that one down at Marguerite. Maybe you keep it open. I don't know. It's at the Marguerite Hotel. Uh, there's something here that uh, I never thought I'd ever see. Many American products, such as uh, colognes and shampoos. Shampoo's already been here. Uh, you cannot buy only Joy uh, detergents, and then they have some off-brand. But they have other ones. Every once in a while you see an off-brand here, or a brand that we have in the U.S. Uh, shampoos, you get a lot of shampoos here. They're really hitting the market here in the shampoos. Um, I even saw American Belt. I actually saw a belt in town on a rack. It's not even my size. It said, made in America. Go figure. Now, we do get a lot of, uh, okay, 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 clothes here. Comes from America. It's uh, where they actually take used clothing and they ship it, ship it to the different countries, uh, China, Japan, <clears throat> all over the world. And a lot of times it ends up here uh, because they ship it back out also. They do the same. People wear it and they get tired of it and they just turn it in and it goes to uh, the OK OK stores. Now, I call them OK OK. I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's uh, used clothing. And you can buy it for a dollar, two dollars or less. Uh, nice clothing, uh, some branded, some non-branded clothing, uh, some pretty nice. I just can't find any of my size. It's all small sizes, all European sizes. So what it's telling me is it's coming in to Japan and some of the other countries, Pakistan, India, and things like American products, are, and they're shipping it in here. So it kind of gives you um, a different aspect. It's all small stuff, so it's telling me it's shipping there. So the small stuff is shipping there from America. Now they have new sanitation rules here where they really didn't have uh, before when I first came here sanitation rules and what I mean is they're actually you can't throw trash on the ground here. Uh, now do I still see it? Yes. Do kids still do it? Yes. Do I still see a kid open up a pack of uh, crackers or cookies and take them, open up with his teeth and throw the package on the ground? I do. But you'll find that most of the people, uh, they actually will tell them to pick it up. We have a, what they call beautification product, uh, beautification lady here where I live. And she actually goes around the neighbors and she actually tells you, please cut your grass. Please cut your front of your grass. Please have to clean out your ditch. Please, uh, please clean your area. And they actually have awards and things like that for beautification. But we actually have a beautification lady. Uh, she's in charge of the wrong guy to make sure everybody keeps everybody, everything clean. And if she sees kids throw trash on the ground, she makes them pick it up, which is very nice. So uh, she actually saw me cutting my grouse out front one day uh, with a weed eater, and I'm, I'm thinning it pretty good, getting it down, and it was high up to my knee, believe it or not. That's how fast it grows here. I'll have to cut it next week again. And it gets up really fast, be up to my ankle next week. <clears throat> but anyway, she saw me doing that, and she made all the other neighbors you can see, I, you know, I knock on the door and the fence and tell all that, hey, cut the grass. So everybody up down the street actually cut the grass and she actually called the brown guy and had the guys come down with the, 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 the big weed eaters, gas powered weed eaters with the strap on the shoulder and uh, clean both sides of the street. And uh, the only that they clean it, they clean both sides of the street about uh, two to three feet in. So it really looked nice. You can drive down a road on the street, it really looks nice. All the roads are cut, it's clean, the ditches are clean. It looks like it's well manicured. It's right. I, I could not believe how good that, just that one, by me cutting that grass, made everybody else cut. <laughs> so, I don't know. It just happened to work out that way that day. Uh, and you can't, uh, you actually can't jaywalk here. Even though they people do all the time, you have to be careful on jaywalking. Uh, jaywalking is something they take very seriously in Davo and CDO. Uh, Believe it or not, there, there, there's enforcers there. Just be careful. Uh, you can jaywalk. Of course you can. Uh, it happens all the time. Of course you can cross the street. But just be careful. Just kind of look around, see if there's a, a green or yellow shirt that says enforcer on the back. He'll write you a ticket. Now, the tickets aren't that much, but 
they are in a lot of instances so just just be careful actually uh, of course no drinking in public anymore a new law on that uh, things that have changed can you believe that no drinking in public you have to drink inside your house or drink so a lot of guys would take and go to the wrong guy I mean go to the uh, sorry sorry store sit out front and have a couple cold ones and sit at the tables and the family and friends for you know if there's a party every day well you're not allowed to do that anymore. do people do it yes do people get away with it yes no smoking in public you can't smoke in public yeah, get that. Go figure. I have another one that actually shocked me. No, must have pants and shoes on when you're a tricycle driver in Buki No. Huh? What? Shoes and pants? Why? They want everybody to look nice and clean, and they actually check them. You have enforcers, you have the police department, you have LTO actually checking the guys. If they're riding a, a tricycle or riding in a, a, a motor vehicle, a, a pro, um, public motor vehicle, they charge money. They, not only do they have to have uh, pants and shoes on, and I'm talking not slippers, I'm talking shoes. No slippers, no flip-flops, none of that stuff. they got to have regular shoes and, and a shirt on, a collared shirt. You can get away with a t-shirt and get this must have great hygiene and must wear some type of cologne and there's many times believe it or not I get in a tricycle at 4 in the afternoon and it's hot and that guy's got cologne on because he keeps it right in his little pouch that he has on his side with his money in it and he just sprays himself down every once in a while and I tell you what kudos out to the uh, that not saying it was ever a problem because there it's not it's never been in fact the whole time I have been here I've never ever had an odor from anybody on hygiene not one time not once ever in US all the time uh, man I, as you guys know I worked retail did I see it all the time I saw it all the time but anyway I thought I'd just tell you this the changes it's actually kind of neat uh, the changes that's happened here so um, and um, more and more are getting TVs and more and more are getting washing machines. Yeah, so it's kind of nice. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe and hit like.